Good morning Good. from, actually no, it's afternoon, sorry. Good Today, afternoon. We're in Suzdal. Um, we started our morning in Vladimir. We didn't really have a chance to film the intro there because it was a bit of a crazy morning. We yeah, by the time we got into the tower, it, it was after one and then yeah. up and breakfast and out. But we saw some cool sights, which you guys will have seen or are about to see. Well, you'll see next. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll see, see next. next. You're going to see a little bit of Vladimir, uh, some of the highlights we saw there. It yeah. was a really cool town. Um, and now we're in Suzdal and, and we've got a bit of free time. Festival. Yeah, so we're going to do this cucumber festival stuff today and then tomorrow yeah. we do a tour. Um, so we're going to show you all about the cucumber festival yeah. in Suzdal. <laughs> Here's our little, lovely little room we had here in Vladimir. Super cutesy. I'll give you the name of the hotel. There's Katie. And now we're heading out on our day trip to Vladimir and then to Suzdal. Here we go. This is the Golden Gate of Vladimir. The entrance and only remaining entrance of the city. It's okay. Yep. It's a golden gate. Nice, neat. Well, it is the 19th century. Uh, so these blocks are original. And then the nice, neat part is reconstruction. And we're up on the ramparts right now which are about 8 meters high, and they used to be about 12. All around the city. This is an amazing building. Also here you will be able to see lots of animals, birds, plants, and others. <coughs> and they are also symbolic. Uh, for example, these the cathedral has more than 100 lions on it and lion stands for the power, for the prince's power because a uh, lion is the most powerful animal and prince is the most powerful between the two. Mm. Oh. It serves to underline how far away from the this is the, what a typical cross here looks like and they're really interesting because it looks like a Muslim symbol but it's actually not. The, the piece in the bottom here um, is they consider it like their anchor which is like somewhere to stop and to think, uh, somewhere to pray and um, something that sort of keeps you grounded. Vladimir was a really interesting place. Um, it wasn't there wasn't a lot to see there. The, the no. Golden Gate was was kind of cool, and the Assumption Church was really or Cathedral was really church cathedral. I always yeah. get that mixed up here. It was really amazing, and it's amazing inside. We couldn't film in there because it was um, you're not supposed to film, even though people were filming and in there. there. Was it was really incredible though. It was beautiful. Yes, and then there was a guy trying to shove his way into a the cathedral. A guy who wasn't supposed to be there, and then the person was stopping them, and then he was like shoving, and our guide was very sweet she was very uncomfortable i think by that but it was really neat it's more focusing on the medieval history so we've gotten more of the last hundred years in the other sites and then this was focusing on like medieval times so that was really cool um because there's such a early history. history in russia like with like mongolian war yeah and whatnot which is really yeah because we but our guide also said that pre like there even being races that people were in russia so their history mm -hmm. goes back so so far but the medieval part was cool because it was very game of thrones-esque and that yeah, was interesting and then in that assumption church you get to see um, was it from Peter? No. You get to see a finger, like a literally like a, like a finger, yeah. like a fingernail that's part from one of the the great the rest of the body royal is families. Tomb. Yeah, because he was he's a monk, and so he became a monk too. Because he, died. yeah, because he became a monk, he wasn't able yeah. to be buried inside the church. Um, and then you actually see a mummified hand as well in there, which is no, really it's interesting. No, his whole body, just his hand is showing to yes, show that he's Yes, well, you can warrior. see his hand. You can't see the rest of it. You can see yeah. his hand though. Mm -hmm. um, I sort of have a, a side picture of that that I took discreetly, no. but you're not supposed to take pictures in there. Pictures but everyone was taking pictures anyway, so I just took one as well. She said once museum hours open, you're allowed to, but when it's not museum hours, you can't. Because it's still church. So it was really, really weird rules because a lot of guides were like taking pictures of their group, but our guide said not to, yeah. so. That's all the information we have for you today. <laughs> That's literally all the information we have for you today. <laughs> we're in a log cabin, it's really cute. Yes, we'll show you how yeah. uh, tall so shortly. Cucumbers are a thing here. Cucumber farmer. <laughs> And these lovely giant <laughs> cucumbers. <laughs> and a drinking cucumber. It's a pickle. Oh. Pickles going on trips. Firefighter pickle. Mm, I think they missed the Not food. a pickle. <laughs> oh, pickles in love. Lover pickles. Drunk pickle. 
Deflated pickle. Pickle pickle. Pickles. Pickle bus. Pickle bus. This is such a cute town. Tell me what are your thoughts on Sizdal so far? So cute. The pickles just puts it over the top. This is like the cutest place ever. Please note the donkey thing behind. <laughs> Pickle Fest! The first event here is today. Actually, Pickle Fest starts more tomorrow, but we got a little event happening in our hotel and we've got a whole bunch of different little happies and drinks and I'm not really sure what they are, but there's pickles on pickles on pickles. <laughs> On our pickle, pickles here, we've got um, what we think is just a cucumber, and then we've got a pickle that's soaking in some sort of sauce, and then a regular pickle, and then we have pickled cabbage, and then we have little crackers with like a, probably some sort of pickle puree, I'm really guessing to be honest, and then like a, this lovely bun, which feels lovely, and then we've got these wines, which we don't really know what they are. This one's light red, and that one looks more like a white wine, but there's also I think one that's kvass, and we're gonna try all of them. Update, they're not wines, they're like different fermented drinks, so this is kvass, and then we're not sure what the other ones are, but one was like a cranberry, almost like a juice, and the one was some sort of fruity grape, sort of fermented tasting drink. Really funny, um, Katie's gonna tell you the rest of the story here, but some lady came up to me. That worked at the hotel, and she's in traditional wear, and she told Mark that she's gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> that she's gonna be waiting on a big bed. I'm like, waiting, waiting for me tomorrow on a big bed. And we're like, what? She's part of this pickle festival. But then, she, <laughs> then she walked away, so we're like, okay, there has to be like a mistranslation there. But, <laughs> no joke at our hotel, we're part of this event happening. There lies the bed. <laughs> so, gonna... so tomorrow, stay tuned for the next vlog when you see the lady waiting on the bed for Mark. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think for him specifically, but that's what she she said so. I love it. You can hear me, these are pies. So one is full of meat, one is full of chicken and mushroom, and one is full of egg and cabbage. Go. I forgot to film most of the other things, but we had these. First um, time. This is cabbage rolls. First time we had cabbage rolls here, and we also had crepes. But crepes are more like little, like crusty tarts. Yeah, they were good. Mark loves cabbage rolls. Enjoyed our pickle fest today. We're going to some more pickle fest tomorrow, and that's it for tonight. Though we're gonna head to bed, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Pickle fest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here.